So the nice people at Smart Turn Systems sent me a few of their self-canceling turn signal add-on systems. So today I'm going to show you how to install this. I've got a local police bike in for service and then with the other two kits I'm going to announce a subscriber giveaway drawing at the end of this video. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with any unboxing stuff, but it comes with everything you need and they also include a badass sticker. So I read through the installation manual and it's very simple. Basically you modify your mechanical turn signal switch. So part two is, as you read the chart. So on this Yanima Pursuit 250 police bike, it has a manual turn signal switch. So first thing is to modify the switch. So you, when you turn it left, it stays left, right, it stays right. And that's why you drive down the freeway with your turn signal on all day. So what the kit includes are little rubber bumpers that you install on the switch. So it becomes a momentary switch because everything will need to open up this switch to modify it. There's just two screws on the bottom and you just take those out. And then the switch housing will slip right off the handlebar to install the bumpers. Now with the bumper pads installed, it becomes a momentary switch and I can install the housing back on the bike and put the two screws back in. I followed the wires from the turn signal switch and they go into the headlight bucket. Headlight comes off with just these two screws. Unplug all the wires to the turn signals. With everything unplugged, now I can take this over to the workbench. So if you've got a typical Triumph or a Honda or something, this is like a five minute installation because everything is plug and play, color coded, and there's even bonus connections. But because the Yanima Pursuit 250 has a China grade wiring harness, I'm going to have to go download the diagram. So I found the Yanima wiring diagram and here's the directional switch that we're looking for. So I need to trace these wires back, confirm their proper position, and then wire it into the new harness. For chasing down China's standard wiring, you can't use a regular voltage grade test light. because I'm, So you have to use an actual China standard bulb with the correct color coding. All this figured out. This one should be hot. And this one's power. So that was pretty simple, and I've even updated the manual with a column for Yanima. Now that I have all the wires identified, I think I'm just going to cut off all these goofy connectors and just solder everything together. Okay, now I can just match these up and solder them together. I'll just give it a couple of wraps of voltage grade assembly tape. That's badass. I'm just going to put the wiring harness back in, tighten all the screws securely. So that was a very simple installation. Now I'm just going to turn the key on and test the indicators. All right, so now the turn signals will self-cancel after maneuvers, turns, overtakes, roundabouts. Badass awesome. So for your chance to win one of these smart turn system kits, all you have to do is like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. I use the random generator on this date, and each of the two winners will receive five out of five Ichiban Moto stickers, and one of the smart turn system kits. All of the rules and information about this giveaway drawing are below in the video description.